Hello, everyone. My name is Anna Martha Ayala, and I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. As a reminder, I do every video in English and Spanish, and the degree theory is based on modern Western astrology using the Placidus House system. In today's video, I wanted to talk to you about the astrological aspects for December of 2024. Now, thankfully, this month is a lot lighter than the last couple of months, October and, and November were a little heavy. So I'm hoping that this holiday season will be a very nice one so we could have a little bit of fun and the tensions have now been um, reduced considerably. Now, it starts off, the month starts off on December 2nd with Venus training Uranus retrograde. Venus is in Capricorn and uh, Uranus is in Taurus at 25 degrees. So if you are single, this can bring on a very unexpected uh, meeting. So this could be a like a love at first sight type of thing where somebody catches your eye and, you know, they might ask for your phone number or whatever you young people do nowadays. Um, but Remember that Uranus is a little bit unpredictable, so go slow with this new person. Now, this um, aspect, you guys have to look at the degrees that I mentioned, because if you have any planet in Capricorn or Taurus or um, Libra or in Aries at 25 degrees, plus or minus three degrees, then this aspect may affect you, right? Right. And if you're single and looking, well, this is, you know, um, a great opportunity for you to dress up, you know, put perfume, cologne, you know, look nice around December 2nd because you may meet somebody. On December 4th, Mercury retrograde is opposing Jupiter retrograde. So, um, and this happens, you know, Mercury is in Sag and Jupiter is in Gemini at 17 degrees. So basically what it is, is that you can review all of your ideas, your big plans, um, but don't implement anything until the end of the retrograde, especially the Mercury retrograde. Now on December 4th as well, the sun is squaring Saturn. The sun is in Sag and it's going to square Saturn in Pisces um, at about 13 degrees. So here we have potential obstacles between what you want to do and the responsibilities you have. Remember that Saturn is all about being responsible, disciplined, hard work. On December 5th, you have the sun conjunct Mercury retrograde. So the sun is in Sag at 14 degrees um, and, you know, Mercury as well. So you may have a lot of original, innovative ideas um, or plans that may come up, all right? On December 6th, Mercury retrograde is squaring Saturn. So Mercury is in Sag and it's going to square Saturn in Pisces at 13 degrees. So this is not a good day to sign anything that you want to last a long time, right? When Mercury is retrograde, we really shouldn't be doing any like um, contracts, any business deals, any um, leases, it, nothing that is good. And especially with the square to Saturn, if you want things to last, then Saturn should be in a good position. And now it's not. So no signing contracts or leases or even verbal agreements. Try to, you know, just wait till Mercury goes direct and it has more favorable aspects. Now, Venus enters Aquarius on December 6th and also Mars goes retrograde in Leo at six degrees and then uh, Mars will go direct on February 23rd at 2025 in Cancer at 17 degrees. I made a video about this, a detailed video about this Mars um, retrograde. So you might want to go ahead and review it. On December 7th, we have Venus conjunct Pluto. 
uh, in Aquarius at zero degrees. So this can be a very passionate day, especially for air signs, because it makes it trying. Um, so we're talking about Libra and we're talking about Gemini. Um, so this can make you uh, more charming, um, more magnetic. Um, so you can attract, uh, if you're single, you know, you can, um, you know, heads are going to turn. So make sure that if you're looking to find someone for, um, you know, dating or this holiday season, then, um, you know, spruce up, right? Dress nicely, put on makeup, uh, cologne, perfume, you guys get it, right? All right. So on um, December 7th, also, you have the sun opposing Jupiter retrograde. So the sun is in Sag, Jupiter um, is in Gemini, and this will happen around 16 degrees. This can make you feel happy, uh, optimistic, because it's Jupiter. Um, overall, a good day um, where things should go well, right? It's it's a nice day. It should be a very nice day. Now, Neptune goes direct, finally, in Pisces at 27 degrees. Now, remember that it stations at 27 degrees, um, and it has been retrograde since July 2nd, uh, and it started at 29 degrees. Now, remember, I did a video on retrogrades where I talked about the dates that it's going to station, so you might want to review it. If you have planets, again, plus or minus 3 degrees, then this is an opportunity for you to do wherever Neptune is in your chart, you have extra energy. On December 12th, you have Venus opposing Mars retrograde. So Venus is in Aquarius and it's going to oppose Mars in Leo at six degrees. So this is a very good day if you're single, you know, to look your best, to look sexy, sensual, charming, magnetic right all of these things so this december looks to be for single people it looks to be like you guys are going to have a lot of opportunities to meet some on december 15th we have a full moon in gemini at 24 degrees so this is a fun full moon because gemini is always fun um so you may receive good news because jupiter is conjunct this full moon and Mars is nearby too, so you can expect to have a good time. Mercury goes direct at Sag, six degrees today, uh, December 15th. And it's been retrograde since November 25th. It started the retrograde at Sag at 23 degrees. December 18th, you have the sun squaring, the sun in Sag squaring Neptune and Pisces at 27 degrees. Really nice day to basically take a look at the big picture through Neptune's lens. Now, what is Neptune's lens? Neptune is very artistic, um, music. Like, you know, go out and look at the festive lights. You know, leave work for another day. Not today. Go have fun. On December 19th, you have Venus in Aquarius training Jupiter retrograde at 15 degrees. And of course, Jupiter's in Gemini. Wonderful evening to go to a holiday party, right? Um, either one, love or business, it looks very, very well today. So enjoy your evening. Have fun you know, make the best of this um, holiday season and this month. Now, December 21st, the sun enters Capricorn. So it is the start of the winter solstice. So happy birthday to all the Capricorns. You're starting off as usual, the winter season. On December 24th, which is Christmas Eve for the Christians out there. And this is Jupiter retrograde squaring Saturn in Pisces at 14 degrees. This is the second time for this aspect for this year. The first one was on August 19th. It will come again one last time on June 15th of 2025. Um, 
basically revisit your financial plans and spending, make appropriate changes so you don't go over um, your budget. You know, your budget doesn't get derailed. Hopefully, since you're watching this video early, uh, you can keep that in mind when you're doing your Christmas shopping or holiday shopping. Uh, so don't spend too much. On December 26th, you have Mercury in Sag opposing Jupiter in Gemini at 14 degrees. And Jupiter is still retrograde. So you could have many opportunities. You can have a lot of ideas of things that you want to do. Um, but don't spread yourself too thin because remember, Jupiter always expands, right? So, and Mercury, you want to do a little bit of everything. So make a list and prioritize all the things that you want to do um, for today. Now, Mercury also squares Saturn. So you could be having some serious, um, some serious thoughts, deep thoughts on serious matters perhaps even you're actually thinking about work because it's Saturn or maybe family as well because it rules the natural parental axis so don't get too serious you know it's, it's just you know it's, it's the holiday it, it should be um a very nice time put those thoughts aside for another day or try to at least and and just enjoy this fest the festivities on December 27th, you have Venus in Aquarius squaring Uranus in Taurus at 24 degrees. So this can indicate that you want freedom from a job or from somebody like in a partnership. Like, um, hopefully you guys won't ask for a divorce. But anyway, um, so you're looking for freedom from a job or from a love relationship. My advice is to wait until the new moon on February 27th of 2025 to make a final decision because things can change from December through the end of February and it's wise just to you know chill for a little bit before making any final decisions on December 30th you have a new moon in Capricorn at 10 degrees so Saturn always brings a serious look, a practical approach, especially dealing with money matters. And like I said, maybe since you guys are going to be watching this video early, you don't spend too much during the holiday period. So then this new moon in Capricorn won't be as... This day also brings, um, on December 30th, Saturn will be squaring mercury and jupiter so the news that you get may not be welcomed uh, also we have the mars in opposition to pluto a, a direct you know which can indicate a power struggle with an authority figure so this is not the time to be arguing with the boss not to argue with your parents not to argue with the police anybody in an authority figure you need to just diffuse the situation diffuse the situation and just you know peace and love type of thing right just let it go uh for another day december 31st is new year's eve um so it should be a very fun night but remember that mars is still in opposition to pluto so behave responsibly right no arguments, don't get drunk, um, be responsible because with that aspect of Mars in opposition to Pluto, things can get out of hand really quick and they can be uh, physically violent. It's not just the verbal stuff, it's also the physical stuff. So I wanted to wish you all a very um, Merry Christmas, a um, Happy New Year. Happy um, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or any other um, festivity that you guys celebrate during December. All the best um, for next year. And um, 
If you like this video, as usual, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and send it to somebody else that uh, it may help. All the best to you. Um, if you would like a natal chart reading with me, please send me an email to amaastrology at aol.com. And thank you for watching.